Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Maurice Dubois. A lot of people talking about this photo here. The mom who took it first thought her little girl was being goofy, but she was actually doing what she was told to do if she was in the bathroom during a school shooting, to stand on the toilet and be quiet. Schools across the country now hold drills for dangerous intruders, but should those exercises begin in preschool? CBS 2's Elise Finch talked with an expert. This is the picture sparking controversy. A three-year-old standing on the toilet at home. It looks innocent, funny even, but the reason why this preschooler climbed onto the commode is nothing to laugh about. I took the picture initially because I, I thought she was just doing something cute, and when I learned later that she was practicing for a lockdown down drill, I, I was totally taken back. What? That's what they're teaching kids now? It's like that? I think that's crazy. Well, it's sad to look at. It's an unfortunate circumstance of our times. We have an intruder in the building. We are now in lockdown mode. This drill was Wednesday in Yonkers, after deadly school shootings in Columbine and Newtown have made lockdown drills as common as fire drills these days. Students here at Palisade Preparatory High School say they're helpful. Well, it makes me feel safe. Ben then not knowing what to do. People we spoke to agree that children need to be prepared, but they disagree on what age the child should be when that preparation begins. I don't think it's too, you're too young at any, at this point at what's going on in the world. Yeah. Dr. Harris Straitner is a professor of psychiatry. He says in his opinion, children need to be old enough to really understand that the drills they participate in do not mean that they are or will be in danger, but they also need to know that it's not a video game. Preschoolers oftentimes don't have the ability to understand more complex, abstract kinds of things. You can start to see kids have panic attacks, some sort of trauma. I'd have to agree with the psychologist. I think it's too early. I think it's appropriate that they're teaching them what to do. Dr. Straitner says whenever parents choose to prepare their children for school safety, they need to make sure they also explain that school violence is the exception, not the rule. Elise Finch, CBS 2 News.